Hi guys, I am going to do one last video for today because I have a lot of paint uh, mixed and I want to um, put that on a canvas because I don't want to throw it away and I want to show the dried piece I did this morning. I even uh, varnished it already because it was totally dry. Here we go. That's what it looks like. I, go, I will do a, a close-up later. I'll just put it to the side and then I'll uh, give you guys a close-up. So I'm going to do um, a small one, a 20 by 20. And I got a lot of colors mixed. Some dark brown, medium brown. I have some turquoise. I have some ochre and I have some blue and I have some very watery white which I'm not sure I'm going to use. So I already did a uh, tried to do a, one of those satisfying videos. That didn't work out that well because there's a lot of flickering in the uh, in the video. I'll put a little bit of it behind this video so don't turn it off when this is uh, over because I'll put a little bit in. Okay, let's do it. So I want to start with a lot of turquoise because I really want to have a lot of turquoise in there. And I'm going to do it with a little bit of thick and a little bit of thin. Then some brown, terracotta. Then some very dark brown. Then a nice rich green and they did sort of get a little bit thick so let me make them a little thinner that's better and a nice beautiful ochre color then some more turquoise which I will thin down just a little bit just like that and then some really beautiful blue and I d don't have a clue what what colors this is going to be what's going to become of this because uh, I really don't know but we'll see so putting it in the middle doing a little flip cup it's pretty thin whoa look at that Look at that paint going crazy. And this is uh, the thinnest I've ever done. But I did want to try this out just a little bit because I thought, you know, just to do something different. There we go. Let it run down here. And then I was planning on doing another little pour right over it with what I have left. Give it a small swirl, a little bit of blue, and the rest of the turquoise. And uh, this is uh, kind of fun to do because now I'm uh, experiencing what some of you are experiencing. See those where the uh, you can see straight through to the canvas? That's where the silicone hit. So that's cool that I uh, know that this is happening. Let it go down there. Okay, and let's see if it's torchable. I'm not that fond of these colors though, I gotta tell you. Yeah, it's torchable. But also, I'm pretty happy I did this because look at this, look at all those holes. And this is when your uh, paint is too thin. And then what 
some people do is they then do this like that because they want to fill those holes right and then what you get is look at it and that's what I'm seeing on a lot of pictures that people send me that it's because of the uh, silicone you know attaching itself to the canvas and then you can put on as much paint as you like but it's not going to be covering the canvas because the silicone is there now I'm going to let it all run off well as long as you rub a lot of uh, paint on there on those uh, silicone spots you do have some chance of um, of it covering up again but there it goes again see that so if you see this if you see this happening to you then that is the problem your paint is way too thin and because you keep on moving it tilting the canvas you're trying to cover up all these spots so that's not going to happen and that is the problem you're experiencing so that's cool that I did this I'm happy I did see that even if I really rub over it look at it and then let the paint run down let me get the palette knife even if I do that you just have to wait a few minutes and it comes popping right back through so this is what your problem is so don't get upset just uh, wash down your canvas uh, put it on some sort of a heat source so that it tightens up again and then you can just use it again because this is not going to be pretty you know who wants a painting like this look at all the holes this is all silicone lots and lots of silicone and I didn't even put that much in there because uh, there was only a couple of drops but that's what you get see And I bet you if you were to resin this, you would have, oh, you would go crazy. It would have so many craters and spots in there because, you know, I don't think you can even resin this. It's just way too much. Well, that's good. I'm happy I did it and uh, I will be um, cleaning it off. And as I do this, you can see uh, the silicone now. See it? That stuff is um, heavy duty. You can do anything you want, but it just pops back up. See it? There it goes again. So I'll be washing this with a, a sort of a dish, dish detergent or something like that to get it off. And I'll be using this uh, little canvas again. And uh, needless to say, I won't be using this because um, there's too much silicone in it, you know, to do anything pretty with it. And I don't like the color. And it was, um, you know, just uh, some leftover paint, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, I'll get you guys down and I'll show you the... Um, I'll turn it around first. Then you can see it better. And there we go. If you stay up there, that'll be good. Okay. There we go. Get it in focus. That turned out really well. I really, really like it. I think the uh, the patterns and the cells really, really did well, and uh, I really like uh, the bowl. And tomorrow I'll be giving it one last uh, layer of lacquer, and then I'll plant the uh, plants in, and I'll uh, show you guys a picture. But uh, I'm pretty happy about it. Oh, you can't see much because the uh, there's not much light under here. 
so tomorrow I have a hairdressing appointment so I'm gonna I'm not gonna cut it too short I don't like that real short hair you know <coughs> so um, tomorrow I'll do the, uh, the the hairdresser thing and then I'll see you again guys that's the silicone see how it all went over the canvas <laughs> okay see you tomorrow in the meantime make some beautiful art bye bye